My twins big like Tia. My twins big like Tia Tamara. Tia Tamara. Tia Tamara. Tia Tamara. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought we would switch things up a bit, you know, uh, have a little bit of a mix on my channel. Uh, I think I literally say that in every video. TikTok is like 99% of my personality, if you guys can already tell. Uh, so that's a great fun fact about me before we start the video. Sir. Hi. <laughs> no one cares! TikTok has sculpted my personality so much in the last year to the point I think I'm like three people in one now. I think I'm actually suffering brain damage from TikTok at this point. But yes, today's video is going to be TikToker conspiracy theories. And honestly, we've got a great lineup, you know? We've got Noah Miller, we have Addison Ray, we've got the Demelios, you know, we got Lorray. You know what? It's gonna be a great video today. And I may be exposing your favorite in this video, but you know what? That's okay. This is a safe place, you know, just between us. Everything stays on this channel between us. You know what? That's so special about our connection. I have like a crackhead for 10 minutes and you guys are like, you know what, Harry? Maybe you go to therapy, and then I end up not going to therapy, and uh, this is the result of that. But you know what? That's okay. Basically, the last time I did one of these videos was like, I think the beginning of last year. If you remember that video, you are an OG. But basically, January 2019, I did a video called YouTuber Conspiracy Theories. And since TikTok has become so popular this year, I thought, you know what, Harry? Let's do one for TikTok. And without further ado, let's get into the TikToker Conspiracy Theories. Where did my tea go? Wait, where did it actually go? I actually don't know. Oh, found it. It was over there. We got the tea, you know, we bought the tea. Metaphorically and physically. <laughs> I'm such a comedian. The first conspiracy theory we have today is the one and only, the legendary, we all know her. She is a prized possession to the app, and that is Brittany Broski. <laughs> So right now you may be thinking to yourself, Harry, what conspiracy theory could you have about Britney? You know, she's great. You know, she's a gem to the app. She's so funny, you know, and all that stuff. Wrong. Britney Broski has been lying to us this whole time. And I have proof. And right now you may be like, Harry, how? Well, she's in fact British and not American. Yep, I said it. Britney Broski is British and lying to us. Did you think we wouldn't find out? Bonsoir, Jim and Pell, Big Fat Liar. You've been caught. You've been caught. And here's the proof behind it. Basically, if we take Brittany Broski's name right here, uh, I'll pop it right here, if I can have the time. Basically, the first thing we do is we take Brittany Broski's actual name, Brittany Broski, right there. Now, you know you see a name. What are the first four letters of that name? Brit. I mean, come on. And what happens if you add I-S-H to the end of that word? I rest my case. What more is there to say? Not only that, but she has a British flag in her own room. No American would do that. Come on, let's be real here, guys. Oh, but now you're fine because you have Joe Biden. We're not good enough for you, huh, Brittany? In conclusion, Brittany Broski is British and not American. We know your secret. I bet you thought you were slick saying you were from Texas, but you know what? Harry Bailey found out the truth. What can I say? The next conspiracy theory we have is about the one and only. We all know him. A gem to alt TikTok. Alongside Brittany Broski, the liar. But yes, next we have Noah Miller. So again, you may be like, Harry, what could you have on Noah Miller? He's great. You know what? What could you have against him? He's a great guy. What could you have? What did could you have on poor Noah Miller? I have a lot. The truth about Noah Miller is that he is a serial killer and he is plotting his next murder with the D'Amelios. I have to say it. You know what? Noah, Charlie, and Dixie might as well start running for the hills because you know what? The police are on their way. Or at least they will be after this video. We know your secrets. I mean, we saw Dixie murder that poor snail the other day. I mean, Lord knows what the girl's capable of. I mean... <sighs> Again, we're gonna take Noah Miller's name like we do with Britney's. What happens if you take away the M from Miller and replace it with a K? Noah Killer. How did we not notice this? And you may be like, Harry, Miller is such a normal, common last name. Well, not in this case it isn't. So from that, we've quite frankly established that Noah is basically a serial killer. And so right now you may be like, Harry, how did Charlie and Dixie have anything to do with that? Well, obviously Dixie heartlessly murdered that snail the other day by eating it. Ugh. God, still can't get over that. See that? Without all your smoke and mirrors, no one would stomach this garbage. What do you say? Garbage? <laughs> Thank God she's cancelled. Thank God we're leaving here in 2020. Thank God. But how is Charlie coming to play with this? Well, let me pull up a photo. You see this photo of Charlie and Dixie. They're in a pink room, just like a normal photo shoot, or so you think. At the bottom, you can see a shadow. It's a very prominent shadow. It's a very, a very strong shadow, you know? It's very bold, very prominent. And so you may be like, Harry, that doesn't prove anything. Everyone has shadows. Well, not serial killers, because if you look up, do serial killers have shadows on Google? This is what comes up. A serial murderer has a very developed shadow. He isn't fragmenting. Consciousness is the product of biological mechanism. Mechanism. Mechanical. I can't say that word. And who else has a prominent shadow? 
I rest my case. Basically, Noah Miller is a serial killer, and he is planning his next murder with Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio. And that is that on that. The next conspiracy theory we have is about Addison Rae. Now my conspiracy on Addison Rae is that she is in fact not from Louisiana. That's right, she is also a liar like Britney. No, 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 she has been tricking us this whole time. And Addison Rae is in fact from Delaware. And let me explain why. Let me pull up a photo of her. This is one of Addison Rae's most recent Instagram photos. And if you don't get Delaware girl vibes from this photo, honestly, Get off my channel. Basically, quick and short, Addison Rae is in fact not a Louisiana girl, but she is a Delaware girl. Now, the next conspiracy theory we have is on yodeling Haley. We all know her for the most infamous TikTok dance, which is Say So. No, didn't even notice. You guys know that one? I know you do. Well, my conspiracy theory about her is that yodeling Haley cannot in fact yodel. <laughs> Yes, she can't yodel. She's a liar. For example, has anyone on this planet ever seen yodeling Haley yodel? Nope. No one has. Haley Sharp is making a mockery of the yodel community by lying about the fact that she can yodel. It's just, it's disgusting. Cancel Wavy, if you may. This probably will get on TikTok room tomorrow, but honestly, it's just kind of disgusting and I can't support someone like that, so uh, yodeling Haley, stop lying about being able to yodel. I'm just exposing all the TikTokers today, you know what? I'm just doing it. Now next again, we have Charlie D'Amelio. I'm about to expose her again for something completely different. Because Charlie D'Amelio is in fact 17 years old and not 16. Charlie, I'm sorry for exposing you, but you know what? I had to say it. You look at this photo and you think it's completely normal, but it's not. It has a true hidden meaning behind it. The reason they're covering one eye is because this eye equals one year. I know, it sounds crazy, but it does. Now what is one plus 16? 17. There you go. There you go. How am I the only person just figuring this out? In conclusion, Charlie D'Amelio is the biggest liar on the internet because she is a serial killer and 17 years old. I'm sorry, Charlie. I'm sorry. The next conspiracy theory is about Benji Kroll. The conspiracy theory about Benji Kroll is that, um, he's actually me. Yeah, kind of crazy. I'm pretty sure I've got like 20 comments in the last month telling me I look like Benji Kroll. <laughs> And people just won't stop telling me it. Anyways, the conspiracy theory is that me and Benji Kroll are the exact same person. According to everybody on the internet. Anyways, it's like 10pm now and I should probably shut up. But anyways, obviously everything in this video was a joke. Uh, for the two people watching who couldn't tell. But basically, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave it a big old thumbs up. If you'd say watching all of that crap, thank you for staying. Honestly, that means a lot. I work really hard on my videos and to anyone who watches the full way through, that just really does mean a lot to me. And it really impacts my channel a lot, so thank you so much. And that's it for this week's video. Peace out, guys.